Hi ladies and gents, uh, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2. In the last episode, we, uh, covered Crocodile Cauldron and beat down Cleaver, the fiery sword hand. That's not a hand, but actually a sword. In this episode, we're gonna take down Grim Quet. So far, I'm on a undefeated streak. I haven't died once in my whole entire time recording this LP. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna break that in this one. I'm pretty sure. This is where the game starts getting hard. Very, very hard. Well, I can't really say very hard, but it, it, it gets hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not, I'm not confident enough in my abilities to not die. The, uh, gimmick of this stage is, well... All the uh, friendly little um, barrels that you can actually control yourself and then shoot. I mean, you control the direction, you control the horizontal, you control the vertical. That's a that's gonna be a very obscure um, refer 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 reference a reference. Once again, I can't speak English, and I've just babbled on like an idiot again. You know the usual. Ah, ha, 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 you couldn't throw your bananas. Yeah, we're already halfway there. And there's a cannon there, but where do I cannon? Oh, look, a DK coin. And a vague arrow. But he's going off in that direction. Let's take a look real quick. Oh, look at that, a treasure chest. I wonder what's inside. Oh, and he goes down just so he can kill him. Look, there's the cannonball. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just take that to the cannon, not throw it off to the side like I've done before. Yeah. I went there. It's just a destroy them all mission, so nothing too complicated. Only three enemies in one cannonball. Makes 25. 20. And yeah. Very, very, very simple stuff. I like this music too. I just, I like the music in uh, a lot of this game. Uh, pff, one of my favorite soundtracks ever. There's like very few game. Well, no, actually, I like a lot of game soundtracks. So. There's very few that I could say they're in my favorites collection of love. It's very prestigious. Oh look, there's a bonus barrel there. I wonder how we get up. You could probably jump on the barrels in order to... Oh, you dick. You could probably jump on the barrels in order to get up there, but otherwise, just throw your partner up and you got it. I mean, it doesn't matter if the Zener is there because, I mean, pfft, I control the air. We just want to fail. Gerg. Hold on. Let's, um, we'll do that again. If I can find it. Hold on. There we go. One more time. One more time. See, it's not hard! I don't know why I failed the first time. That was... I don't know... Maybe I just got a little trigger happy? Maybe? Alright. 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 And you're shot. <laughs> Still haven't died yet. Where, where, Where's my death count? I mean, come on. No deaths at all. Do, does playing with a classic controller make that much of a difference? Um... So we're gonna move on to Gl Glimmer's Galleon because, um, well, yeah. Haha. <laughs> Wonder what the gimmer gimmick is here. It's really dark. That's one gimmick, but that's not the reason why it's called Glimmer's Galleon. So let me just move on ahead and... Oh my god, there's light! Um, This is the gimmick. This guy right here, his name is Glimmer. This is the only appearance for him. 
he is never, he's not anywhere in the game. He's considered an animal buddy, but he, this is, yeah, this is the only place. So we're going to want to go back to the beginning of the stage. And, look, there's bananas there. Just super easy. And this is a dark version of, like, the maze that we've done before. Uh, it might not be the same one, but it's a dark version of the maze. You just gotta want to navigate very carefully and fastly. Yep, nothing too complicated. But wait! There's more. Oh, they took Glimmer away. If you go up to the left, above the entrance, you can see this three. Um, on top of that, if you go up here, you see a four. So yeah, that's where the DK coin is. Just up and around the corner. Um, there's also a two somewhere around here, which I think is up here. Yeah, here's the two. I don't know why they did it that way. I would have probably, it would have probably been a little bit uh, more clever if they decided to do two, three, and four to, in order to get to um, to get to it. Eh, eh, eh. This is um, this is one of those underwater level, underwater levels where I end up dying fr frantically, or at least I thought so. But I'm beginning to think that I'm immortal. So excuse me if I start getting cocky, which will probably be my um, undoing. Maybe, maybe. I swear, if I can make it through this game in like a deathless run, that'll be like the most awesome thing ever. I, I swear. Oh no! You know what? I may have jinxed myself. Because now I'm scared. Oh! They're now gonna start exploding. That's not good at all. In fact, that's really bad. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm so scared. Cause I want that would be so good if I had a um deathless run of the game. I gotta stop saying that because the more I say it, the more I jinx myself. There's this halfway barrel, so Oh God. I'm a little bit more comfortable now. Oh! <laughs> Quit throwing projectiles at me! So, let's see. Let's see, let us see, let us see, let's, let's see. This is just a one really long stage, a really long level. Um, so, I mean, there's really not much to say here besides the darkness and the starfishes and the, just all the things that can try to get you in the last second. Oh god, no. Let's go down. Let's, let's be careful. Okay. As soon as you see that arrow, you're gonna want to move down and out, and then you see that trail of bananas. That's where the next, um, thing is. If you follow my path on the video, you'll get there. It's not easy to find. I've lost my way several times before trying to find it. This level is not designed for you to find things easy. So that makes 28. So, oh, goody goody gumdrops. Alright. Fuck you, Lockjaw. Alright. Alright. I'm having like a mini heart attack, and he's gonna explode, and... Almost there! Almost there! Almost! Almost! Get it! Get it! Get it! Alright, we're gonna wanna jump, and I don't care! I don't care what I get, just as long as I don't die. Whew! Still immortal! Oh my god! I cannot believe this. This is madness. This is absolutely bonkers. Um, but on that note, I'm going to end things off here. Um, in the next episode, we're going to take a tickle, tickle, what? T 
We're gonna tackle. Okay, it started off as tackle, then went to tickle. We're gonna tackle um, Crockhead Clamber. But um, until then, this is Ryu. Peace out. If you like my stuff, please subscribe. If not, whatever. And um, I'll see you later. Bye. Fast natural.